Throughout history, people have used religion to create networks of treacherous spies who tell on people so that the leaders can control them. The Prophet ﷺ inspired people. He didn't need to control them. In this video, I'm going to show you that he didn't just tell his companions not to spy on other people. He even told them not to tell him anything that would disappoint him about any of his companions. The Prophet used to tell his companions, he used to say that, let none of you tell me something about my companions, my friends, that they would dislike you telling me, something that's unpleasant. He said, because I want to go out and meet them and see their faces without having anything against them in my heart. The culture that the Prophet ﷺ nurtured in Medina and in Mecca and in his companions was not a culture where people spied on each other. It wasn't a culture where people told on each other. It wasn't a culture where people tried to control each other. Spy cultures are the hallmark of every single control, government, dictatorship, organization, group of people. When there's somebody who takes a position and they take that position of leadership and they want to make sure that they keep it, they keep power, they keep control, they spread a network of spies and the spies, they tell on people. And if somebody's trying to overthrow the leader or do anything that would compromise his interests, these cronies will inform the leader and the leader will take action. <laughs> the Prophet wasallam did not foster a spy culture because his goal was not to seek control. His goal was to guide his companions. His goal was to love them and for them to love him and to be inspired by his example and to change because they wanted to change. Not because they feared that they would be told on and they would get in trouble. There was a verse of the Quran that was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ in this meaning and he taught his companions in this verse God commanded the Prophet ﷺ and commanded his companions وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضَ Don't spy on each other and don't convey things to someone else that the first person would not have want you to have said. Did you know he said this about you? Did you know he secretly does this? Did you know he doesn't want you to know this, but I'm going to tell you something. This is called riba. And Allah said, لا يغتب بعضكم بعضا. At another time, the Prophet وسلم, he taught his companions how to be a leader. He said that, إن الأمير, Verily, if any leader, the leader of an army, the leader of a group of people who are accomplishing a particular project, he said, if there's any leader who searches out suspicious things, who's suspicious. And he says, did you do this? And he accuses people, makes accusations based on suspicion. He said, if a leader does that, then he spoils people. Afsadahum. He spoils them because he creates a spy culture. And a spy culture is a culture of deceit. It's a culture of betrayal. It's a culture of backstabbing, and that's what all politics is. But that wasn't what the Prophet ﷺ was doing. It's not what his companions did. It's not what he taught his followers to do. ﷺ. We need your support. We want to produce over 100 videos in this series to show the beautiful character of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. This will be a positive response to all the bad things that people are saying about him. If they understood who he was, they wouldn't believe 
any of those accusations. If you like this video, please support this cause. You can help with as little as a dollar or even with the click of a mouse. Go to discovertheprofit.com or click the link in the description below to find out all the ways that you can help people discover who the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. And don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Also to subscribe to our channel. All of this helps spread this message.